you want a good quality product at the end of the uh, day, you have to make sure that you have a, a good soldering iron and good hot glue gun, or else it's just going to be a hot mess. Uh, more patience uh, when wiring fine, very thin wires. You have to make sure that you take your time, because if you try to rush it, then you're just going to end up getting solder everywhere, and it could short out other parts. Uh, and better preparation. I learned that uh, you have to deal with a lot of uh, uh, people, uh, especially in the uh, uh, from China, where the parts may take up to several months to come in. So you have to make sure that you order the parts a lot in advance uh, if you want to make sure that you have the uh, time to build the finished product. And these are my photo credits. More photo credits. This was uh, actually a, a Halloween project. Uh, I was going to use it as a, a, a secondary uh, final product. Uh, essentially, it's a mask that I made from um, a, a design I got from a video game. And what it does is you flip this switch here, and that turns on the, uh, the board that's in there. And it's all covered with this uh, leather face mask. And I actually, what I did is this LED used to be powered with a AAA battery. So I desoldered those off the two sides. And I made one wire that goes through here on that attached to the board. And then it, uh, it powers with a uh, rechargeable battery. So whenever I press this tactile switch here, it's a LED face mask that you can take to Halloween parties or whatever.
because uh, there's actually a community of people that are doing a similar project to this. And so because the programming was something we were both unfamiliar with, we had to ask other people to see what it takes in order to program it, exactly how it is. But he knew how to do all the wiring and stuff, and he showed me how to wire it together and everything. And um, me and my father actually worked on the majority of the cutting and cooling, because that, that was more of a not engineering job. That was just a getting it prepared for it to be wired together. Battery's a little bit low, so the screen might flicker, but when I turn the switch on, it should come on. Uh, well, the cool thing about this is that since it uses an SD card for storage, you can put like thousands of games on it. Uh, so there's like Mario and other things on there. You can put like Pokemon or just different things. I think because the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero is so small, they have bigger ones. But uh, it only is able to run certain uh, emulators. It can't run like the more modern ones, like uh, PlayStation and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just very slow, but then it also updates. I forgot the charger. Sorry, <laughs> but, but it does work. <laughs> 